Hi, I'm Brian with Nelson Creek Outdoors, doing some of the uh, equipment reviews again today. Um, you might wonder what that little clap was there, and I'll explain that in a moment. First, I'm filming today with the Kodak uh, Z5120 camera. It's actually a still picture camera, but it does also take uh, uh, 720p high definition videos. And the reason to use this one again is it also has a zoom feature, much like our other older camera that I still haven't gotten to yet. But this one's a little bit higher quality, has the zoom in it, and for the house it actually probably is the one of the best quality cameras I have because it does have the the German lens on it. It is a point and shoot camera and the lens is built in 26 times telephoto on it. It's kind of a crossover between the DSLRs and uh, the point and shoots. So that's the camera I'm using today. If you've been watching some of the videos I had on the, on our channel that I did delete now, we've been trying to get a wireless mic that works, and uh, they're they're expensive. So while we've tried to get a wireless mic that works, it just hasn't happened yet. We tried the bowl, and honestly, it was a piece of eleven dollar garbage that we bought, and it was worth less than that. Uh, then we had a Radio Shack one that it, it worked okay, I guess, but it had a lot of static in it. The voice quality was poor. And the second you tried to get any range from it, you know, you turn your body away a little bit, and the mic wires acts as the antenna, gets covered up, and you get a in, in the video. And it just didn't really work out for us. So with all us running through the woods and getting trees in the way and other things, the wireless mics just don't seem to be a very good option right now. Not until we can, you know, afford to drop 500 bucks on one for doing YouTube videos. That's a lot of money. Um, so instead I saw another video where a person used a simple digital uh, audio recorder as a wireless microphone. Now it doesn't transmit to the camera, but it does record the, the, the audio through my lapel microphone that I have. This one happens to be an RCA VR5220A. I just chose one that had a high quality function for voice. That's all I really cared about is that the voice quality was pretty good. Um, so pretty much any one of these can do as long as it A interfaces to a computer. This one has a has a built-in USB port jack here. So that's nice. And then it has to have of course an external microphone. I suppose you could use one with an internal microphone, put it in your pocket, you know, breast pocket or something, but it probably wouldn't be as nice as having the lapel microphone. That brings us to the clapping. Um, while I am recording my audio here, it is also being recorded on that camera as well. But they are not going to be synchronized. They are two separate files. So what I learned is to give three claps before you start talking. When you go into your software later to do editing, you find those three claps and you can use it to synchronize your audio so that your audio and when I'm talking the audio matches my lips. And I'm actually going to do uh, a little bit of a video uh, probably separate from this one um, on how to sync your audio. So that'll show everybody how to use this. Because I think this is, you know, when I saw this I thought this was a really good option. Uh, you know, this cost me, it was used, but it like brand new. I mean, things even smells new. It smells <laughs> like fresh plastic. Um, and listening to the few files that were on it, I think the guy was in over his head trying to use it. It was a little complicated, and I think he bought it and then just got rid of it. But $13, that's what I paid. So I've got a wireless microphone for $13. The downfall is I have to sync the audio in software. But I don't get all that weird problems associated with radio frequency microphones. And I think that's about it uh, on this here. Um, basically, you'll be hearing, when I put this video together, you're going to be hearing audio through this through this recorder put back into the video from the camera there, so you can be the judge of how it sounds. I won't do any processing or anything and leave it just like it came out of the thing. Again, when I'm out fishing, hunting, running around the woods, I think this is really going to be a good option for us. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Hi, this is Brian with Nelson Creek Outdoors again, and in our last video I showed you using an RCA voice recorder as a pseudo wireless microphone so you didn't have fade out problems and everything. Now it does cause a little bit of issues when you're trying to use it um, because you have to sync your audio to your video. So let me show you how you do that.
Here's the video up here. Well, first we got to go to video mode here. Here's the video we filmed. We need to drag this into the timeline here at the beginning. And there's the video. And you can see it has its own audio track. Audio isn't that great on the audio track, trust me. Um, because you got to talk to the camera from a distance. So a microphone on a lapel is much better. So we use that file. Let's go get the file we made in the recorder. I have to admit, I had to go take this file, which had only one track in it. I had to double the track in it in another program and ex export it before Pinnacle Studio would understand it. I'm not sure why, but it works. Anyway, so we want to drop this into a stereo channel, and now that it's converted, and get it right to the beginning. Well, that's not really that important right now. And there we have it. There we have the audio track, and we have the video track. Now I'm going to silence it, take the volume control, silence the audio track in the video itself. Now we'll play the movie and you'll see what happens with the audio in the video. Hi, I'm Brian with Nelson Creek Outdoors. Doing some uh, equipment reviews again today. Um, you might wonder what that little Obviously. clamp was there. And I'll Obviously you can see that it's, it's on sync. But, remember those three claps? There they are, the three claps. And my video camera itself, in its audio. In the microphone, there they are. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this audio file closer to that one. I'll drag over so we can work on this a little better. And then I like to expand the timeline. The nice expanded. I know I just kind of eyeball it here. I've been doing it a while. I'm probably getting pretty good at it. And maybe just a hair more over here. I'll tell you, the, the, the thing does not move very smoothly, so. Now let's check with the frame thing here where that clap starts. Expand a little more. A little more. It's not saying this is 100% super easy or anything. But nothing ever is, right? That's pretty close, so let's check what it sounds like. Hi, I'm Brian with Nelson Creek Outdoors. You Doing can see some video up here. Reviews again today. My voice um, is I now. Wonder what that little clap was there. And I'll explain that in a with moment. My audio. Now, at this First, point, I'm filming today with the cold. They said, "Let me not talk over the computer." They can see it synced up with my voice, and. Uh, now I can export it, make it one file, then I will bring it back in and uh, trim it up once it's one file, trim it up, add my introduction and everything, and I'll have working video with great sounding audio on a $13 budget. Um, again, eliminates the problems of the RF noises. I, I can go a mile away from my camera and I can still, I'll still sound the same. And just instead of using the wireless, we just have to take a little time in the editing program to line it up. And honestly, you can see that wasn't that terrible. All right, thanks again for watching.